In this video, we're gonna ride up the Dempster Highway. It's about 980 kilometers of gravel one way, and we're gonna show you what that looks like. We're gonna try to get to the Arctic Circle, and then the Arctic Ocean. Okay, let's get to the video. That's quite a striking view. We stopped at a rest stop here and we're in the area of the Tombstone Territorial Park and it's absolutely stunning scenery. I know there's snow and ice all around here, but it's actually nicer weather than you think. We're sitting here, it's uh, almost nine in the morning and it's 16 degrees Celsius. Another rest stop on the way, but Ogilvy Ridge, we just ended up climbing a mountain. But what an outstanding view. It's a bit hazy, but you still get an idea of what it looks like here. We're just over 300 kilometers into the Dempster Highway, and from Dawson City, I think it was 960 kilometers to get all the way to the Arctic Ocean. So roughly we're about one third the way up. But the road's getting to be a little bit rougher. We just went through a section that's freshly graded, but it was pretty loose. <laughs> but it's starting to turn a little bit more into a goat trail than what the first couple hundred were. So we'll see how it goes. Welcome to Eagle Plains. Yeah, it's none too soon. This is about the lowest I've ever run the tank on the Pan America. It's not even registering on the gas gauge anymore. <laughs> but what a view. There, the gas tank is now full. And we're full from eating at the restaurant. So it's time to get back on the road. Let's get to the Arctic Circle. Well, there we go. After nine hours and 20 minutes, including stops, from leaving Dawson City, here we are, we're just getting to the Arctic Circle. So let's pull in. Here we go, latitude 66 degrees. We are now at the Arctic Circle, which is 66.5 degrees north. And it took a while to get here. It was 456 kilometers, almost nine hours of driving down a dirt road. <laughs> and a couple of interesting things about this location right here. In the Northern Hemisphere, there's actually eight countries that cross the Arctic Circle. And in Canada, the Dempster Highway is the only highway that crosses the Arctic Circle. Now, as in relation for all our friends in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, New Zealand, and everywhere else. There is no countries in the Southern Hemisphere in the Antarctic Circle. To be an equivalent of where we're standing right now in North America, you would have to be standing 60 kilometers within the edge of the Antarctica 
to be at the same latitude as we are right now. And we still got about another 500 kilometers to go north until we get to the Arctic Ocean. Well, it's not a riding day on this trip if we don't hit rain. I think you've heard me say that before. <laughs> After a rainstorm and fixing a flat, here we are in the Northwest Territories. So we've been on the road for about 10 or 10 and a half hours today, <laughs> trying to get past the storms, which didn't quite work. And here's the mileage markers. We still got 421 kilometers to go to Tuktoyaktuk but only 415 to the Arctic Ocean. How does that work? Now, Craig jumped into the Yukon, and anybody who knows me well knows I'm going to dance my way into the Northwest Territories. Well, there's the ferry, first of two that we have to cross in order to get north. Time for a break. Well, good morning. Day two on the Dempster Highway. So we're in the little town of Fort McPherson, I think it's called. Just filled up with gas, and on we go to Inuvik today. Well, it's a small little town here, but they had the best campsite and the people here are so friendly. It's been a great little overnight. Well, on the Dempster Highway, once you cross into the Northwest Territories, this road gets way better. Through the Yukon, on either side of Eagle Plains, boy, those roads were rough. And especially the areas where they cover with shale. I can see why a couple weeks ago this ferry wasn't running. Look at all the ice here. And they're still trying to remove it. It's a little bit of a sketchy approach. Oh, I hope I can keep it upright. Look at that, Superman Kev. There's a polar trailer on the Dempster Highway. know we're almost to Inuvik and we actually have pavement on the Dempster Highway. <laughs> I never expected this. <laughs> Welcome to Inuvik. Good morning. Day three on the Dempster Highway. We probably could have made it in two days, but we decided to take a break in Inuvik. So this morning, we just left Inuvik. On the last stretch of road, it's 147 kilometers to Tuktoyaktuk. And we'll see how we do. <laughs> I was told at the campground by a couple of guys who just did it, that this road is probably the toughest stretch of road on the whole Dempster Highway to get up there as it's the newest stretch of road, but it's not well maintained for the last 100 kilometers. And we have a little bit of rain this morning. It seems to have dried up pretty good. Well, let's see how we do and cross our fingers. Oh, so I took pulled over just to take a break because these road conditions, that rock on there is pretty slick. It pulls your front tire all over the place. The road's flat, there's not a lot of washboard, so that condition's good, but it's pretty slick on a heavier bike. Plus, since it's so cold, it's only five degrees right now, I wanted to pull over, 
so I could take a break and grab some coffee. <laughs> As you can tell, there's not a lot of coffee shops around here. Well, the further north we're getting towards Tuck, the more water we're starting to see. I don't know what our elevation is, but it feels like we're getting lower. But this section of the road right here is not too bad, but overall it's progressively getting worse. <laughs> I turned the camera on here because this stretch is actually pretty good. <laughs> kilometers to go. close. I hit that windrow there from the grating. I was lucky to keep that up. Well, there's the local gas station. Welcome to Tuk Toy Ak Tuk. Oh, what a road. Oh, that was a workout. <laughs> and I just about lost it right at the end. So it's June 20th, the day before the longest day of the year. It's the land of the midnight sun because the sun does not set this time of year. And it's only four degrees Celsius and a real strong wind. So with the wind chill, I bet you it's below zero. It's cold. So Tuk Toyaktuk is a town of a, somewhere between 800 and 1,000 people now. And their main industry right now is tourism. They used to have oil and gas here back in the late 70s, but that's all he said, it's all kind of dried up now. And there was a big work program about five years ago when they built that highway for year-round use. There we go, made it to the end of the road. Here we are, we made, made it. it. <laughs> made it to the Arctic Ocean here in Tuk Toyaktuk. It was a crazy ride today. And it's cold. <laughs> oh, is it cold? It's so windy. Uh, plus four Celsius. It's got to be below zero with the wind with the wind chill. I'm not even talking right. <laughs> okay, that's good. We'll see you on the ride back. <laughs> but wait, Craig, what? we have to dip our toes here. Oh, jeez. I think ocean to ocean to ocean. I, I think Kevin and Rob challenged us to get in the water when we get to the Arctic Come on, Ocean. Let's go. Okay, I guess we're not done. <laughs> let's go. Thanks, Kevin, Rob, Dave, for throwing out the challenge that we had to go in the water when we get to the Arctic Ocean. Woo! I never realized it was only going to be four degrees Celsius, and there's still ice. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go. Let's quit complaining. Okay, let's take a picture. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> Well, that 
that's the end of our Dempster Highway video. I hope you enjoyed that. This one was a lot of riding because basically that's what it was. It was 983 kilometers of dirt roads to get up to the Arctic Ocean. So watch for the next video and I'm going to do a review of how the Pan America did on the ride all the way from Vancouver up to Tuk Toyaktuk. See you on the next video.